Hi, my name is Kaylin Helmick and I am an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. And in this video, we will be talking about limiting motion through the use of a limit distance meet. Here I have a pneumatic cylinder open and this pneumatic cylinder has two parts to it. We have the rod as well as the body. And the rod is already mated concentrically to the body of the pneumatic cylinder. However, as I drag my rod, I can see that it extends out past where I want it to extend as well as it collapses into the body of the pneumatic cylinder. So our goal will be to create a limit distance mate that allows this rod to have the correct range of motion. So to create a limit distance mate, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the assembly tab and then click on mate. And the limit distance mate is underneath the advanced mates tab. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And here we see the option for limit distance. The first thing I'll do is select the two faces I want to work with. So I'll go ahead and select the face of the rod here, as well as the face of the body of the pneumatic cylinder. For a limit distance mate, we'll enter in the minimum value as well as the maximum value, and this will create our range. And for our minimum value, we're telling SolidWorks how close will allow this face to get to this face. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and enter in 0.75 inches. And then for the maximum value, we're entering in how far away will allow this face to get from this face. And I know that the stroke of this pneumatic cylinder is five inches. So for my maximum distance, I'll go ahead and put 5.75 inches. And then this value here simply needs to be a value within these two numbers. It's indicating how far away these faces are from each other currently. I'll go ahead and click check. And now we can see when I drag this rod, it will only extend out this far. Once I get here, SolidWorks does not allow me to pull it out any farther. As well as when I collapse it, SolidWorks does not allow me to collapse it past this point. Let's go ahead and do a more advanced example. Here we have a cabinet with some drawers and we can see that these drawers can actually slide in and out of the cabinet. And if we zoom in, we can see that these drawers have these sliders, which actually behave like drawer slides. They collapse as I close the drawer and they extend out as I pull the drawer open. So let's go ahead and isolate just the drawer so that we can see exactly what's happening. And so as I move the drawer, we can see that the slider is collapsing until it folds up in on itself. So this is actually created through the use of two different limit distance meets. We have a limit distance meet between the face of this slider and the face of this slider, as well as the second limit distance meet between the face of this slider and the end of the slider here. Let's go ahead and open just the slider so that we can see how that was created. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the limit distance meets so that we can create them again. Okay, so now we can see that the sliders extend out farther than we would like them to. The first limit distance mate I'll create is between these two faces here. So I'm going to go ahead and press control and select those two faces. And then I'm going to go ahead and press this button here for limit distance. And we can see that we actually have the mate box pop up right here. So we can quickly add that mate. In this case, I'll do a minimum distance of 12 millimeters and a maximum distance of 230 millimeters. I'll go ahead and click check. And now we can see that as we move the slider, it won't collapse beyond this point and it won't extend beyond this point. So our next step will be to create one more limit distance meet and I'll go ahead and select this face and then hold down control and select this face here. And then I'll go ahead and select the option for limit distance mate. And for my maximum distance, I will do 300. And for my minimum distance, I'll go ahead and do 22. And then I'll go ahead and click check. And now we can see that this one does not collapse beyond this point as well as it will not extend beyond this point. We'll rebuild and save the document. 
and then we'll go back to our cabinet and we can see that our slider once again is functioning how we intended it to. And that concludes this video on how to limit motion through the use of limit distance mates. Once again, this has been Kaylin Helmick from GoEngineer. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel.